our part one of giving Tez ideas. Tez from TS Graphic Designer or TS Graphics. This is our first idea, Tez, and this is our second idea that looks like a computer, a little bit professional. And this is our third idea. Since we're a graphic designer, we went absolutely crazy with colors. Join me. So you're gonna press T for text and then you're gonna add your text on your canvas. I want the canvas to have a black background, but it's up to you, Tess. You decide what you want to have. So let's select everything and then start typing capital letters T and S. And we're going to change the color of our text and make that red. And we change the font and make it an Anton font. And once you're done, you're going to download this as a PNG. So you're going to click on share PNG and download it as a transparent background. If you don't have Canva Pro, you're more than welcome to try it using my link below. Or you could always go and use remove.bg. Once that's done, you're going to delete your canvas and go to your downloads and drag your design back to Canva and then it's gonna get added. After you've sized your letters to exactly the size that you want, you're gonna select them so that you get the edit photo option. If you are like me, you're probably using the latest Canva edit photo tools. We want an old app. So we're gonna scroll down and go to this section that says, we're using the new photo editor. We wanna use the old experience. So you're gonna click there so that it says to you, allow you to revert to the old editor. Now we've reverted, you're gonna click on edit image so that we can go find our old apps that we used to use. This is the app I want, it's called Trippy. You click on it so that it gives you the options to make your design, graphic design test. So we're gonna use the stencil for this one and allow the app to create a beautiful stencil for us. So if you're happy with the way that it looks, you can always go to the edges and make them smaller or bigger and uh, the pass through the RG. So you can go and make this, make adjustments. So say you want the angles to be that way. I just think it's so cool. <laughs> and then you adjust it the way that you want. Make sure that all of the letters are displayed and then you click on apply. What you're gonna do next is to add the name of the business or the rest of what you do so that people are aware that you are a graphic designer. So we still maintain our Anton font and we're gonna change the color and I love the green. I don't know about you, Tess. You must tell me on the comments below. I don't know. You're a graphic designer. You must tell me. So we're going to go graphic. I would love to go back to my elements and look for a paintbrush. And I found this nice paintbrush. And I think it is free that I want to add it to our design. And then change the drops to green. Then I'm going to press C for circle to have a dot of a drip that's dripping to put a dot to our graphic designer. And here's our first design. Let us know, Tess, on the comments below when we're going through the designs, which one is your favorite? I loved this one, but I'm biased. We're gonna click on add page and do our next design. Our second design, we're gonna go back to our elements and we're gonna search for our shapes and we're looking for the pearl. This is one of those really fun ones that I also enjoyed. <laughs> but again, I think I'm biased. This is the pearl. You click on it once. Tez, I don't know your colors, my love. So I'm just going to go with my gut. And you will choose colors and make colors your own when you decide. I'm just giving you ideas. That's my job. I felt purple was nice for this one. So let's find a, a dark purple color. We could even use the gradient colors that I love. Click and hold your Alt key and use your mouse to duplicate shape. Create a second pill, reduce the second pill's size and then align it on top of the first pill, but you need to change the color of that one to a solid black. What we want here is to create a line that is nice and thin 
that creates a illusion of a circle of a pearl i hope you understand what i'm trying to say there something like that you could always zoom in on canva and then to get the better adjustment of your design so zooming in is like your best friend this is your first step you could always group these which will always make your life easier when you're designing your next step is to create a gap so that you can add a beautiful design so a square shape is perfectly fine even the rounded square shape is also fine so you would add your square shape reduce it change the color of that and also make it black next you're going to go to your elements and you're going to search for a laptop it's this laptop it's called techno laptop by nuzo so you just click and you add it on your design once and you're going to change the color of the laptop so the black change that to a bright pink and add a square shape so you're gonna press a rectangle and we want to have a space over there to be able to write ts on our laptop next you're gonna press t for text and we want to write a nice big ts and we're going to use our favorite font anton and we're going to change the color and make a lightish purple i like this one and we're going to align it on our laptop like that the last step would be for you to add the graphic designer so we're going to press t for text and we're going to write and we want to use sanchez for the font on that one sanchez that font and we're gonna add it to our design and we're going to go to our effects and we're gonna scroll down to curve and we're gonna curve the design over there so we could even reduce the and then we adjust the curve but it it curves nicely with our and we duplicate that and we go to the bottom of the page and we zoom out and there is our second design i love this one too if you're going to have to register this logo if you decide this one create this laptop yourself don't use the elements because then if you are using elements you can register go to the terms and conditions of registering a logo with canva you will see that we can't do that if we're using their elements but you can always create you can recreate this one let me know on the comments below if you love this one as well let's jump in on our number three our full theme when it comes to graphic design our number three comes through as colorful as possible press t for text and then create your ts we're going to stick to the anton and then another t for text for the rest of the word of what tes does make that capital letters Okay, but once you've done that, just select the text itself and then go to your letter spacing and then add a little bit of space in between the design, something like that. Next, you're going to color these letters and have them with different colors. You're going to highlight the letter and then you're going to start giving it different colors. awesome once you have different colors you're going to go to share and you're going to download the design as a png with a transparent background just page three your next step is to log into photop.com and then open a new project and you're going to decide on the size of the width and the height as well as if you want a transparent background i do want a transparent background and i want to use a youtube thumbnail size because that's what i've used on canva as well then you would hit create you then have an open canvas you're gonna go and drag the 2d download that you have created from canva and then you're gonna add it to size and then you're going to rasterize the image that you've added there what how you do that you go to your layers and then you would right click 
and then you select rasterize once you've rasterized your image your next step is to go and select the erase tool and you're gonna go to your erase tool and reduce the hardness to zero percent and then increase the brush size to a bigger size so let's make it maybe a hundred you're then going to delete the top section of your design like that so that it leaves a nice shade and it reflects like a shade of a reflection once you download this once you're done you're gonna go file and you're gonna export the design as a png and you're gonna click on save and it goes to your downloads then you're gonna go back to canva and you're gonna upload the design on your uploads so we're gonna click on upload files and we're gonna go find the downloaded file that we just downloaded from photo p we edit on there great stuff then you're gonna add it to your canvas and you're gonna reduce it you're gonna drag and size it so that it is the exact size of the design that we have on there something like that then you're gonna flip vertically and then you have a nice size and then you align them so that they reflect back to back on each others and it looks like it's on the table and it's um, reflecting the words that you have of your design and that is the last design that we're going to do for part one i can't wait to share with you part two so don't forget to subscribe and like the video Tess, i hope you enjoyed this design we are going to roll out two more designs because i have two more ideas that i want to share with you thank you so much for joining me on this video i will see you on the next video Oh, yeah.